Welcome, I'm Dr. Afar Alq and in this video, I show you how to model natural convection heat transfer in console motor physics. In this boundary, we have 300 Kelvin. For this boundary, we have 305 Kelvin. The bottom and the top boundary condition are insulated. So we need to find the temperature and velocity distribution inside our domain. For the start the model, let's move to console motor physics. For the start the model, click on model wizard. Select 2D because we have a two-dimensional model. Okay? Because we have a non isothermal flow, so select fluid flow and select non isothermal flow and select laminar flow. Okay? Click on add and also click on study. In this example, we have a steady state simulation, so select a stationary. Okay? Click on done. Here we define some parameters, for example, TH is 305 Kelvin, okay? We define delta T is 5 Kelvin, okay? And TC is TH minus delta T, okay? Now let's move on to geometry one, right click on geometry. Select a square and use 0.1. Okay, click on build. Now, right click on materials, add material from library, and select liquid and gases. Click on gases and select air, add to component. Okay. Now, for uh, lambda flow, we use in compressible flows, we consider the temperature change is not significant to change the density significantly. Okay. Also, we active for the include the gravity. Okay, because we have a buoyancy effect for the natural heat transfer convection. Okay. Now, I right click on lambda flow and select point pressure point constraint, and this value is zero. We select this point because we need to convergence our model. Okay. Now let's move to heat transfer and follow it. Right click and select temperature. We use this boundary condition and its value is TS. Okay. Right click and also we select temperature. Its value is TC. Okay. Now let's move to non thermal follow or motor physics. We active the boost and approximation. Okay. And now let's move to mesh. We use extra fine mesh and click on build. Okay. Now let's move to stationary and compute the model. Okay. As you see that we have problem about the convergence of the, our model. So we cancel the run. Okay. We back to lambda flow. And here. Add a setting and pseudo time is pink. We use the up option. Okay, now back to mesh and stationary and compute the model again. Okay, now you see that we have convergence our model and now we have the result. It is our velocity distribution. You see that because. We have temperature difference, so we have velocity distribution for natural convection. Okay, now we check the temperature, it's our temperature distribution. Now we want to check the effect of delta T on distribution of temperature and velocity. So back to parameters one. Okay, here we can use 10 Kelvin for temp temperature differences. Okay, stationary and compute the gain. Okay, as you can see, we have also a difference velocity inside our domain. So, also for the temperature, as you see that. Also, you can see the temperature and fluid flow together. Here, you see that together, the temperature and velocity. Okay, now we want to check the outer surface. So, we select outer surface and plot. We use higher scale. Okay, 
you see exactly we have temperature differences so the arrow direction is here as you can see it's caused about the temperature difference between the left and the right boundary conditions okay now we want to check the velocity into the line so we use cut line 2d okay 0 0 4.1 4 .1, and for 0.2 we have 0 0.1 and also 0 0.1 so click on plot okay now right click on result select one the plot group right click select line graph select cut line 2d and plot okay it's our velocity for five and now we want to check the t so we use t it is our uh, temperature okay you can use a different coloring or a style for the model or the for this figure okay for example you can use different value different colors and you can also use a marker okay so here you see that we have a different temperature distribution as we change the delta t so we can write the study one and select parametric sweep and also we can select delta t we use number of values for example we start one and stop 10 and we use the number of value 5 and click on replace and compute the model when we use one this is our velocity distribution when we use three 5.5 and 10 okay also for temperature okay for the temperature we can use different color bar and also different color so here okay so for one and for ten okay so for the cost line also we have different temperature profile also we can use the velocity okay Here you see that we have different velocity profiles, so we can active the legend. Okay, one the plot group five, and here in the legend we use center. Okay, the center.